Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. We are continuing our series on working blind, where we talk to VIPs in the community that have jobs. And uh, just to give you guys a, an, an idea of what types of occupations might be available. A cartoon of a man sitting at a computer typing on a keyboard. The view zooms out and we see dozens of other identical men working in office cubicles. The screen goes blank. The words working blind appear in green, typed out as if on an older style computer. So today we have a gentleman and uh, we'll let him introduce himself. Uh, mystery caller, <laughs> would you mind giving us your name? My name is Warren Scott. All right. Thank you, Warren. <laughs> I didn't want to ruin it. So <laughs> uh, Warren, what is your vision impairment and your acuity? My vision impairment is that I'm partially blind. Acuity is 20 over 400 and that's in my right eye uh, my left eye is much worse than that um but in researching my visual acuity uh it, it didn't really say so definitely 20 over 400 in my right eye okay and what is it caused by and and, and have you always been this way did it happen later in life no it it actually is hydrocephalus mm -hmm. and um uh it started when i was born and I actually, I believe, is was one of the first and youngest persons to receive a shunt, which alleviated the, the water on the brain in 1970. Okay. Oh, so you're in the history book somewhere. <laughs> yeah, somewhere. Yes. <laughs> All right. Great. Okay. Awesome. Well, so what do you do for a job? I am an administrative support specialist with the state of Oregon Public Health Division. Mm -hmm. What that entails is anything and everything dealing with the office from answering phones to filing, to uh, routing mail, to editing web pages, to it, it just, it covers the gamut in terms of, of what, anything that's done in the office, I've probably done it. Mm -hmm. uh either that or i'm about to do and ironically the the whole virtual meeting thing is something i've dipped my toes in in a little bit but really don't have a lot of experience but uh other office duties photocopying uh grant review is a for instance that may not necessarily fall under administrative support but uh that may be something that that definitely falls in that Okay. Yeah. Jack of all trades, kind of whatever pops up needs to be done. Yep. I consider <laughs> myself a Jack of all trades and a master of very little. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So um, how long have you been doing this? I actually been doing this for about, let's see, for the state of Oregon, 26 years. Hmm. And for the state of Washington, I did some office work for about two years. Okay. So you might say 28 years total. Okay. And did you need any kind of, like, did you get any formal training or was it just on the job training to do this? Well, what I, my background actually is in computer operations and I took computer operations in the early 1990s, which for those that don't know, uh, that was the infancy of windows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and so that was the platform that I learned on and even pre windows and so even though my training is dated um quote unquote the principles and con concepts still apply to this day okay and did you have any um jobs prior to this any types of other jobs uh let's see i was a stockroom person at a uh it was like a Salvation Army store once upon a time. And I also was a teacher's aide. Oh, okay. Okay. And then what kind of accommodations did you require when you started or you continue to need to complete this work? So when I first started with the state of Oregon, of course, they were still running Windows 3.1. I loved Zoom text, um, which I'm sure some people may be familiar with or maybe not um and then 
once we got into Windows 7, then Windows actually has a magnifier program, which I am able to use. If it has to do with printed material, I use a telemicroscope, um, which I believe is a 5 to 12 power telemicroscope that attaches to my glasses. Hmm. And that I use to read to read print with. But other than that, nothing, nothing uh, dealing with audio at all. Um, it's essentially just using the magnifier and the telemicroscope and iPhone on occasion. Um, if I'm with a colleague and they're showing me something that I then I tend to use the camera on the iPhone. Mm -hmm. But other than that, that's that's pretty much about it. When people ask me, what can we do to make this readable? My my standard answer is nothing. I will do the adjustments. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, you know what works. <laughs> it, well, yeah, exactly. And and because what's happened is is that I'll sometimes get stuff or I used to get stuff that was in crazy large print. <laughs> and it, you know, so like a two page, two page report mm -hmm. comes out like 10 or 11 pages <laughs> because it's in right. large print. And I find that to be somewhat distracting, actually. And so that's why I, I just I just ask that just leave everything as is. Um, if if there's any graphs or anything with color, if I can't read it, I'll let you know. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so how accepting uh, are your coworkers? I mean, you've been there a long time, obviously, mm -hmm. so everybody knows and everything. So mm -hmm. have, did you have any pushback from anybody or any kind of awkward uh, situations working with people? Believe it or not, no. Uh, okay. And and I think it was it was really a matter of proving myself as an employee and <clears throat> and showing by example that yes, I'm blind, but, and yes, I use what are called alternative techniques or workarounds or whatever you want to call it. Right. Yeah. But I get things done. Mm -hmm. And so if anyone does have an issue or problem with it, I don't know anything about it. Um, but every, everyone's been very accepting of me. That's good. That's mm -hmm. good. So when during the hiring process, um, at what point did you divulge your vision impairment? Um, before, during the interview process, afterwards? Actually, it was during the interview process. And the reason why is because I, I folded that into not the why should we hire you, but, <laughs> but something, what can you bring to the job? And one of the things I said was when it comes to reviewing documents, I can't skim. I cannot just briefly review a document, which some people can do. And that's all well, great, and fine. But mm -hmm. if, if you're looking for edits, sometimes things get missed. And a lot of times, even now, I'll catch stuff that people miss. Mm hmm. And, and so really, I, I attribute that, that yes, I'm blind. Yes, my field of vision using a telemicroscope is very limited, but I have to read the whole thing. I can't just skim through it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've, I've talked about that before. And this kind of is a, is a theme throughout all of these interviews I'm doing is number one, um, you know, determination, uh, proving yourself and, and knowing what you bring to the table and mm -hmm. having confidence in that. Uh, but uh, I've, I've done videos on when to divulge. Do you do it before? Do you do it after? And my philosophy is always do it during the, the interview process, yeah. uh, because there's going to be those times when they're, it naturally is going to come up or, or they're going to ask you that very question you just said, or, you know, um, my experience, it's been like, uh, you know, tell us a time in your life where you had to overcome adversity or, you know, you had to think outside the box and it's like, ah, perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, we do that every single day. Yes. So it's, it's really a, um, a benefit to them, uh, something that they're looking for. So 
Well, awesome. So, uh, any plans on changing occupations? Anything you'd like to do in the future? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm far enough into my career now that uh, I'm avoiding looking at retire <laughs> retirement, <laughs> but it's going to have, it's going to creep up on me sooner or later. Yeah. But right now, no. <laughs> no, I, I have I have no interest or or uh, any anything at all to mm -hmm. change careers. Absolutely not. Perfect. All right, Warren. Well, thank you so much for joining us for this great information. That I think a lot of people are going to enjoy, um, kind of hearing your experience and hopefully get something from it. Okay, thanks so much for having me. All right, guys. So if you would like to see more in this series, check out the other videos in this uh, Working Blind playlist. I will have a link to that in the description down below. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.